which is a non-invasive caries treatment. It can be utilized on non-cavitated caries lesions, so like white spot lesions, decalcification, early stages of initial caries where the surface has not actually broken open. Um, this is a great alternative to some other treatments that I utilize, for example, silver diamine fluoride. I love it, use it all the time, but of course it has the trademark dark black stain on a non-cavitated or cavitated surface as well. <laughs> Any carry surface, um, to be specific, it'll stain it dark. This will not discolor the tooth. Um, it does take more time to apply it. It's a five minute application, um, but pretty simple and straightforward to do. So it would be well tolerated by the majority of patients, perhaps not the, the littlest of kids, you know, maybe they might get upset, but it, it, it's pretty simple and quick and painless um, as I'm about to demonstrate for you. Um, it's also a nice alternative to say other non-invasive options like resin infiltration. Um, resin infiltration is amazing and it'll arrest incipient caries lesions um, and gives you the instant gratification of like a white spot lesion could literally disappear within your, your appointment. So that's fantastic, especially in the aesthetic zone. Um, this will not give that instant gratification visually like you would see maybe a dark area from SDF or a disappearing white spot lesion with resin infiltration. Um, it happens over time. So it um, stimulates remineralization of, of the surface by natural remineralization. So it's going to, um, it has a self-assembling peptide that'll help um, form the hydroxyapatite crystals. Okay. Um, and an important thing to, to point out, because uh, I, I notice a lot of misconceptions, especially in forums for remineralization, is yes, you can remineralize incipient caries lesions, meaning the surface is just porous. It hasn't chipped open yet. You can, uh, you can reverse that. You can repair that. Even with just better diet and hygiene, <laughs> you, can, you can reverse that damage. Um, remineralization is possible. However, a cavitated lesion, meaning it became so porous that it literally crumbled and broke apart, you don't or you cannot regenerate enamel. Like a hole will be a hole until you fill the hole. <laughs> so important thing to point out for, for folks, especially if there's any non-dentist uh, watching this, I, I, I don't wanna give the illusion that somehow your tooth is gonna grow back. But if you have, think of it like your skin, if your skin's dry and you put lotion on, you can moisturize your skin. Um, you know, porous enamel, if you remineralize it, you, you can um, make it stronger and increase the integrity of it and, and try to stop it from breaking down and becoming a, a cavity or a hole. Um, so let's check out how to do it. 